Good evening vinyl community, it's Rob back for another video and uh, tonight we are um, or oh, I am looking to do a response to uh, Richard McCook's uh, yet another um, intriguing thread that he's put together which is uh, Desert Island Discs uh, Only Girls Allowed so what are these? Well these are female solo singers um and he's um he wants us to show um female solo singers uh that we would take i guess to a desert island um but with a caveat that we can only show one album from each artist and uh also a compilation uh so best of um as well so um yeah so Obviously, I've seen a, a couple of these entries already, um, and I did have to cross off one or two, e even though some of them have been shown before. So there have been some very naughty cheats going on there where, you know, people have sort of just like railroaded their way into this um, without probably any due consideration for anybody else who's done it before. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, so my first choice is Kate Bush, The Dreaming. Oh, I'm joking. But I would have loved to have put that in because that's not only my favourite Kate Bush album, apart from The Kick Inside, it's uh, one of my favourite uh, female solo albums, uh, period. But uh, there you go, anyway. So I'm sorry about that, Rich. I was only joking. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, um, so I'm going to show um, my uh, my 10 plus the compilation and uh, we'll see where that goes. Okay, so um, straight off the bat, uh, this is an artist that probably not an awful lot of you out there have heard of. Um, uh, I About two or three weeks ago, uh, I had a, a very, um, I had a, a package come in the in the post and uh had no idea what it was going to be i was expecting some um paperwork and mail that was being forwarded by my landlord so uh i figured that it might be that although it was in a 12 inch by 12 inch box so i figured uh yeah okay that could be a record but uh, i wasn't expecting any VCLT or anything or anything like that. So, but um, it was actually uh, this uh, when I opened it up. Uh, this is an uh, an album by a lady by the name of Katie Spencer, and this is uh, this was actually sent to me by a friend of mine uh, who I went to school with uh, a long, long time ago, and he went up to with his parents to live in Hull. And uh, he's a huge, huge record collector, massively eclectic taste, um, has collected records probably even longer than I have. Um, and, uh, you know, has very, very wide tastes, um, but, you know, loves good music and, and new contemporary good music as well, uh, has very good tastes. And this was one of the records that uh, that he sent me from um, a friend that he works with, and this is actually his daughter. And this is a, this is a lady by the name of Katie Spencer, and it's an album called Weatherbeaten. And this is, <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd never heard of her, um, but I, I did do some googling and uh, some. YouTubing and so on and she's been established for a few years um, and there's uh, there are some videos on YouTube of her playing um, she did a BBC session up north, from the north of England uh, BBC North and she was playing at a, f a folk festival I think in Derbyshire as well there was uh, there was um, um, there was some uh, video of her playing superb voice wonderful um, this is a, a brilliant album. Um, it's uh, very personal, uh, the, but she's a fantastic guitar player. Um, very f folky, but not obvious folk. Um, 
she detunes her guitar and plays in different tunings, which I love, which is kind of reminiscent of sort of Bert Jansch and Roy Harper. So right up my street. Um, and clearly uh, my friend uh, Pete knew, uh, knew that I would like this. And yeah, absolutely liked it. And um, I think this was only limited, he told me, to 300 copies. So unless this has been repressed, you'd probably be hard pressed to get a, a copy of it. Um, but uh, there, um, there is a download code on the back, uh, and I don't do these. So if anybody would like to check that out, uh, be my guest. Um, but I'm very happy to plug her because she's, she's superb. Uh, really, really wonderful voices all her own. Um, I wouldn't like to say who she's derivative of. She, there's obviously a lot of influences here, but uh, yeah, it's super from beginning to end. Highly, highly recommended, and uh, would yeah immediately be on my uh, desert island discs. Okay, uh, now the next one is uh god bless her peggy lee uh and this is her album seashells um i absolutely adore peggy lee um she's just got that wonderful tone to her voice and she sort of tells like stories and songs and um yeah you just get absolutely just carried away uh on this kind of that she does, which is very apt because this is, um, uh, yeah, this is uh, very, um, very sea-like, uh, well, obviously the title track, um, but they're very, very subprofic, very gentle songs, um, and she's kind of narrating stories uh, as you go through, which sort of takes you on a, on a, on a journey. Um, There's a song in here called I Don't Want to Play in Your Yard, which is very poignant to me because I can always remember my mother singing that to me when I was a, when I was a child. And um, yeah, just as soon as I heard this, it just took me places and took me back to that, that time, that kind of warm, fuzzy feeling when you, um, you're very young and, uh, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful album. So, yeah, lovely. Um, next one's uh, probably the opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, this is Lady in Satin, um, Billy Holiday. Um, oh, yeah, I think this was one of her last, if not, the last album that she recorded. I know she was very sick when she recorded this. Um, and uh, yeah, but uh, no less powerful of her voice and uh, uh, superb orchestration on this as well. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful album um, from an absolute legendary singer. Um, Marvellous stuff. Okay, my next choice is uh, a lady by the name of Chris Harwood. And this is an album called Nice to Meet Christine. Miss, sorry, Nice to Meet Miss Christine. Um, this, is a, this is a reissue. Um, uh, I had, came, came by this a couple of years ago. And uh, it's superb. Um, the original of this she recorded um, and I think the original copies were like put into a garage for years and years and years because she almost like just kind of completely dismissed this after it was recorded um, and obviously they've become if any have survived unbelievable collector's items um, but as I say this was reissued maybe i think i don't know about 10 years ago something like that um but yeah there's all sorts of artists on here um 
you've got um who have we got on here? Uh let's have a look. Uh Dave Mason uh from Traffic. Uh we've got um Who else is on here? Anyway, <laughs> they're musicians from Here It Goes. It says, Yes, the Straubs, Joe Cocker Band, with Donald and Giles, and Juicy Lucy. So, um, yeah. Um, wonderful version of uh, David Cro uh, Crosby, Stephen Steele song, Wooden Ships. Um, fantastic. Uh, Crying to be Heard, uh, which is a Dave Mason song that was on the second Traffic album, I think. Uh, fabulous, fabulous version of that. Um, yeah, really, really good. Uh, definitely recommend that if you've not heard it. Okay, uh, my next choice is uh, from France. This is Francoise Hardy. Uh, I have a few of, of hers. Um, very, it's weird. A lot of her albums are, are just titled Francois Hardy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's difficult to sometimes um, uh, differentiate between the, ver the various different albums. But uh, this is great. Uh, this is, not, I think this is 1965. And you can really hear that kind of mid sort of 60s Beatles sort of rubber soul feel on this. Um, she's amazing. Um, you know, she was a big, uh, uh, you know, big campaigner for the preservation of the sort of the French language and singing in French, um, which she almost did exclusively apart from a um, album that she did, which was Francois Hardy in English, which is a lot of her famous uh, or better known songs that were re-recorded in English um, but yeah wonderful wonderful artist uh, next one is of course the girl from Ipanema this is Astrid Gilberto this is a 1968 album Windy um, which I think was a song that was recorded by the association um, but this is this is wonderful. Um, yeah, love her breezy, Brasilia kind of uh, tones. Um, uh, she famously, uh, obviously, did quite a bit of collaborating with Stan Getz, a uh, famous jazz saxophonist. Uh, but this has all sorts of uh, interesting ones. She could sing me a rainbow, windy. There's a version of the Bare Necessities, which is wonderful. Um, yeah. Great, great, great artist. Uh, love Astrid. Okay. My um, next choice is, um, and this is, uh, I, you know, this goes back to when I was a very, very young, young kid. Um, this is Ella Fitzgerald. It's probably the greatest uh, jazz, female jazz singer, of, of arguably of all time. Um, wonderful um i've got a also um this is uh uh she sings the cole porter songbook uh so i've actually included two because there's uh volume uh one and volume two but they're both equally fantastic uh so you've got love for sale i love paris uh night and day uh anything goes all through the night every time we say goodbye I mean, they're just standards, um, and uh, you know the uh, the arrangements are just fantastic. They're wonderfully recorded as well. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, uh, she would definitely go with me to a desert island. Okay, um, next one. I don't know where we're up to. Uh, this is, uh, of course, Carol King. And uh, Tapestry, everybody knows this. Um, but yeah, she's a wonderful, obviously, writer from the Brill Building in New York with uh, 
her husband Jerry Goffin. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this was the album that she did to uh, prove that she was, you know, definitely a, an artist in her own right and not just a, a writer for other people. Um, yeah, fantastic, fantastic album. Um, I actually went to see the um, the stage production um, of her of her life, um, um, which is called Wonderful. Um, that was at the Hippodrome in Birmingham. Uh, I took my mum there for her 80th birthday, um, along with my sister, and that was a, a fantastic, fantastic show. And uh, yeah, it was a great tribute, and the girl that sung was really, really good, um, soloist. Um, but yeah, fantastic show. Anybody who's not seen that, if you're into Carol King, well worth checking out. Okay, um, my next choice is uh, this lady, uh, another uh, Monday jazz singer, Ricky Lee Jones. Uh, love this. This is a real all-time favourite of mine. Chucky's in Love, obviously, was the big hit off this. Um, but, yeah, Last Chance, Texaco, Coolsville, um, Saturday afternoon in 1963 is beautiful. Um, yeah, wonderful. Okay, um, and at this point, I'd like to put in an honourable mention of uh, Judy Sill, because she would... Um, absolutely be on a desert island her first two albums um are just sublime uh but I, i've not put those in because i've shown those records um several times over uh, my my over my videos so uh i thought i'd um put her other uh geffen label mate in from laurel canyon uh joni mitchell and this is arguably my my favourite of hers, uh, For the Roses, 1972 album. Um, yeah, much prefer this to Blue. Uh, I know Blue is uh, cited as a masterpiece, but uh, musically this is, for me, far more interesting. Um, love the songs Bar and Grill and uh, You Turn Me On On My Radio is great. Um, yeah, Electricity uh just superb superb stuff yeah love jenny mitchell okay and uh my last choice of compilation um i was gonna put in uh well i wanted to put in patsy klein um, but i couldn't because only two and between the two i probably prefer this one <laughs> as a compilation, and this is the best of Roberta Flack. Um, I've got a, a few of her studio albums, but uh, this obviously is a great uh, compilation. You've got Killing Me Softly, of course. You've got a friend, Feel Like Making Love. Um, first time ever I saw your face, which is just obviously sublime. The uh, Ewan McCall song, um yeah wonderful wonderful roberta flack okay so that's it guys and uh hope you're all enjoying the warm weather here in the uk uh it continues to swelter <laughs> uh long may it continue um but i hope you're all doing really well out there um hopefully with the old covid i wasn't going to mention covid19 but uh, we had the last night tonight in the UK, which is the official going out and clapping for the NHS. But I dare say people will probably continue to uh, to do that, despite um, uh, despite the lady who started this deciding that you know sort of enough was enough. Um, yeah, but uh, anyway, yeah, let's hope that we uh, we turn this around quickly and. Uh, you know, we can all start to get back to some kind of normality. Cheers, guys. Take care of yourselves. All the best. Bye-bye.